Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today I'll be doing my room tour and I'm so excited to do this because I love decorating so moving into a new dorm is always really exciting for me and this is normal student accommodation in St. John's College at the University of Cambridge and I'm in a set which means I have a room here but then also a friend of mine has a room here and we share a kitchen and a bathroom um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys my room because her room is private um, and if you guys want to see what the room looked like before I decorated it, I showed it in my first vlog and you can find it linked up here and also linked in the info box below. And if you guys are interested in any of the things that I'm showing, um, if I manage to still find them on the internet, then I will have them linked in the info box below for you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is what my room looks like when you walk into it. And you can see it's quite spacious and I really, really like that I have so much space this year, which is pretty cool. Um, and there are a few doors in my room, so this door leads to the room of my friend where she's staying and then this is our exit and then here that's the door to our bathroom and that's the door to our kitchen. I showed these in another vlog um, so if you guys are interested in those um, you can take a look at that vlog. It's going to be linked in the info box below um, but we're going to take a look at this room and I'm going to show you guys the different corners and why I arranged it the way I did. So on these first few shelves I just keep my personal books, so books that I read for fun and one massive dictionary because I never have space for this um, and then some towels and all my folders. Unfortunately in this room, although it has a lot of space, they didn't really use the space that well because for example here they could have just you know, put a few more shelves or drawers um, but they didn't so that's why I didn't really have space for my towels so I just put them up here and then I put all my folders for my subjects next to it and then here we just have my personal books and a lot of paper clips because I use paper clips a lot for some reason so I just keep all of them here and then here I have a little box with my stapler and post-its and things that I just use a lot and then just, you know, books and a couple of DVDs that I like. And then down here is my laundry basket. And I also keep my shoes right in front of it so that I don't have to look for them every day. And then here is my little chill corner. So that's where I have my couch and I can just, you know, sit down and relax. I have to admit, um, I wasn't very fond of the couch at first. Um, but it is super, super comfortable. So that's why I decided to keep it. Even though it isn't really the prettiest. Um, but I feel like the pillows did, you know, make a difference. And we also found some flowers which are matching and this great vase which we got from Wilco. I really really like it and I feel like it matches the room very well. And the flowers are fake obviously because um, the responsibility of fresh flowers was just not for me. Um, but you know they all look nice throughout the year so that's great. And then up there we have a pin board and the pin board normally looks a bit different but I just put some marble vinyl over it so that it looks a bit prettier. And I really, really like the effect that it has. I actually thought that it was going to be a bit lighter, but I really like the grey effect it has. I think it looks pretty cool. I also put that on my other pin board so that, you know, they look the same. Um, and then up there I have my deer head, which I got off Amazon, and I think this just looks really, really amazing. I love this thing so much, and I just put it up using a pin because the pin board is very, very thick. So once you get your pin in there, it can hold something that weighs quite a bit. And then down here, I have these three baskets and my fairy lights. The reason I put my fairy lights in these baskets is that I'm not allowed to put anything on the walls in my room because it was freshly painted. So I had to find a way of putting my fairy lights up without them touching the walls. But I think it actually looks really, really great with them being in the baskets and I quite like the effect that it has. And so yeah, that's what my chill place looks like. And of course, I still have my pink carpet because pink is my favorite color and I really, really love this carpet. And then over here we have all my academic books, my printer and my desk. And my desk this year is massive. Like there's just so much that you can put on it, which is really, really great because sometimes in law you just have to have a lot of books open. So it's really, really useful. So on my desk I have this one basket where I just keep general information that's important that, you know, I need to access quite a lot. So for example, like our grading criteria and stuff like that, library things, our timetable, everything is just in here. So that I can have access to it immediately. And then some tissues because that's always good. And my Berlin postcard which has been with me for a very long time. I literally had this when I was in boarding school in Hong Kong and it's still here. So yeah, it's been with me for a while. And then all my highlighters and a little reminder of my rabbit at home because I have a little white rabbit. And my mom gave this to me while I was still in Hong Kong and I was doing my exams. So it's kind of a special memory, that's why I keep it here. And then I have my motivational jar. So, you know, in case I have a day where I'm just not really feeling motivated to do work, I pick a quote out of this jar and I look at it, and it usually helps me quite a bit to just, you know, get back to focusing. And then here I just have some things that I'm working on right now, because I'm doing some readings. 
and then my calendar, a lot of pens, and then my agenda where I usually keep track of things um, and write down some important tasks. And then here, this is a little thing where I just keep basically a lot of post-its um, and a notebook and just things you know where I can take notes on. And my water bottle. And then here we have my printer. And then I have this book, which I find really, really useful because you can just, you know, put things into it that you receive. Like, I usually use it just, you know, put like mail into it that I get that is like not super urgent. So, for example, like events or things. And I can look at it in like a few days. And it just doesn't fly around the room. So, I really, really like it. And then here I just store all my makeup because I do my makeup at my desk. So, it's just really useful that it's close by so that I can just grab it in the morning. And then here we have my academic books which are quite a lot of books and I have to say you don't need these many books to go through law school, okay? Not at all, by no means. Um, I think probably you can get by with like 50% of this. Um, but personally I like to read quite a bit on my subjects and I do write into my books. So for me it is really, really beneficial to buy my books because I just write into them and it really, really helps me when I study. So that's why I have these many books. But you don't need to buy these many books if you're in law school, so please don't worry about that. And then up here we have this golden pineapple, which is completely pointless, but I feel like it looks pretty cool. I honestly have no idea why I bought it last year, but I think it looks cool. I like it as a decoration, so that's why it's up there. And yeah, that's my desk and all my academic books. And then here the desk has a few drawers, which I have to admit only one of them is for academic things and the rest is just clothes because my wardrobe this year is just pretty small. Um, that's my wardrobe. And last year's wardrobe was about double the size. So that's why I had clothes in England for double the size of a wardrobe. So I needed to find places to store it in. And that's why also in here, um, two of the drawers are clothes. Because in this wardrobe, not a lot is fitting into it. So you can see, um, I put some things on hangers which just need to be on hangers. And then I have this little item where I can just, you know, roll a few things and put them in. But that's about it. Um, so I needed some extra space. But the really, really great thing about this wardrobe is it has a mirror. Because last year's wardrobe didn't have a mirror, but this year it does have a mirror. Which is pretty cool because I really, really appreciate that since last year I didn't really know how my outfits looked sometimes. So I just went with it. And then here I just, you know, have all my jewelry on this little tree and then some more here. And I keep my key in this little jar. This is something that I'm currently experimenting with. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Um, but I normally don't have a designated place for my key. So I'm trying out whether this is helping me to just, you know, make sure that I always have it with me and that I know where to look for it. And then I just have my university card and my lipstick, which I need a lot here, and my sleeping mask, because I do sleep with a sleeping mask since um, I have a roommate who, you know, can walk through here and I'm usually the one who goes to bed first. So a sleeping mask is just really, really great because it makes sure that you don't wake up if there's any extra light because someone's coming in later than you. And then here's my bed. Nothing has really changed here in comparison to last year. I still have this blanket, which I got for a few dollars at Walmart, and I think it's so, so pretty. I've had it for years, but I love it, and I think it's really, really cozy. And then I have this rabbit here, um, which is just a reminder of my rabbit at home and of Hong Kong. And then we have another little rabbit here. Um, and then just here my pillows and then a photo of my actual rabbit. So yeah, in case you hadn't realized by now, I do have a rabbit. Um, I love her a lot, um, so that's why, you know, she's represented all over this room. Um, because I miss her quite a bit whenever I'm abroad. And then here I just keep two of my coats, which I frequently wear, so that I can just grab them on my way out. And then there's this pin board, which isn't really being used at the moment. I'm not sure if I will. The great thing about this vinyl is that now that it's up, um, post-its stick a lot easier to this than they did to the actual pin board because the pins that you can use for these pin boards they're really really hard to get into the pin boards because the pin boards are so thick um, so I prefer to use post-its but I'm not really sure what to use this for because I don't really need it I'm thinking of maybe putting up my schedule but I don't really need that either because I have it digitally so I might just leave it like this because I actually like the way that the pin board looks because I think the vinyl is quite beautiful so I'm not really sure if anything is going to change with that board. Now I should also show you guys the view because this room has an amazing view. So you can see the river and you can also see the master's lodge of the college. And you can see some of the older buildings of the college including the library which is just really really amazing. And you can occasionally see people panting by which is pretty fun. 
Um, and I removed the curtains because I don't really mind having an open window. I had um, windows with no curtains in boarding school for a year and I didn't mind it so it doesn't really bother me. Um, and I just put these shapes up instead because I just think that was a cooler effect than the curtains. The curtains weren't really that pretty and they had a few stains so I just put these shapes up instead and I think they look quite pretty. And I had one of these shapes left so I just put them down here. Um, I bought these off Amazon and they're supposed to go on the walls. I had them on my walls last year um, and it's a really, really great effect. But unfortunately, since I'm not allowed to put anything on the walls this year, they're just, you know, hanging or lying around. And then I just have two candles here, which I'm not allowed to light because you're not allowed to light candles in college. But I think they're quite decorative and they're still smelling like roses, so that's beautiful. Um, and then down here I keep my bag which I just take to class and then there's a little basket with my scarves in it um, Because as I said my space for clothing was a bit restricted So I just put them in here and I love these baskets. They're from Ikea They're super easy to put together and I think they're just great for organizing things in your room I also have one down here under my desk and I just keep all of my cables in it and you know you can just hide a bit of the chaos that's in it because it's a lot of chaos in there but when you look at it it looks quite fine um, because I don't really want all the cables to lie around down there because that's just a bit of a mess So I prefer to keep them in these baskets So yeah, that is my room at Cambridge I think it looks really really amazing and I'm so grateful that they gave me this room And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun living in here So yeah, that's my room tour So yeah, that's it for the room tour I hope you guys enjoyed it If you guys are interested in any of the things that I mentioned They will be linked in the info box below if I still manage to find them on the internet um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys would like to know more about my life here at Cambridge and how my setmate and I are handling the law course, then you can check out my vlogs. There's a playlist linked in the info box below and it will also pop up in the end card. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Bye!